。本期视频主题：闻所未闻，塞尔比遭遇史上最尴尬判罚，一脸的懵。咱们先来回顾一下事件发生的过程。当时这个判罚在圈内也引来诸多的讨论以及吐槽。各位小伙伴仔细留意画面中两位球员，或许能够找到一些答案。当然，没有看懂的小伙伴也没有关系。视频的后半段依然是冯冯为大家带来的精彩解析。如果有了解当年这一情况的老司机，也可以在评论区跟大家一起讨论下。And、uh, I feel a little sorry. I feel very sorry for Mark there. And that's unfair on Mark, I believe. What's happened there? I think. No, the ball never left the bed of the table. Yeah. Well, that's that's a that's a controversial one, and I think that Graham is at fault, personally. Yes. Your visit to the he, table, Graham. He is. But the referee Alan Chamberlain is technically right. <laughs> He's right, but I think he should have told Mark what he, what happened. I think he should have told Mark the situation. Mark was misled slightly there. I think. Do you not agree, Clive? He was. How was he to know? Well, he, he was misled. <laughs> Your、yes. shot was when you lifted the ball from from where it should have been played. Yeah. I don't. I, yes. When you've seen Mark Spurled, I and mean, then you've lifted the way up. Because, because the ball has left the bed of the table when he lifted it. Right.、Uh, I, mm, I'm not comfortable with this as someone that's completely neutral in this match, and I think that、um, it's a bit unfortunate the way that was、uh, conducted there, personally. The referee, technically correct, but a case for him to exercise his discretion. That's how I see it, completely, Clive. 大家看懂了吗？为何明明白球吊带，塞尔比理应获得手中球，双方球员却都遭到了犯规的处罚 ？OK， 下面我们再来仔细回顾事件的发生过程，看看裁判为何会选择这样的判罚。多特防守时，白球回去的线路直奔袋口而去，就在白球即将落袋的一瞬间，多特眼疾手快，将白球弹了出去。此时，多特默认自己白球吊带，主动将球弹出去。这种情况我们在球房里也经常能看到。为了避免麻烦，很多爱好者都会在白球吊带的一瞬间选择将球直接弹出去或者拿出去。Well, there you are. 此时，击球的双方都默认为这是吊带犯规，另一方获得手中球。Uh, sorry, 同样，塞尔比也是这样认为的。Well, 白球吊带可以获得手中球。Yeah, 可就在塞尔比摆放白球时，遭到了裁判的判罚。Yeah, well, that's, that's 可以说，按照斯诺克的规则，裁判的判罚完全没有任何问题。但当时这一情况却引来了诸多热议，很多球迷都认为裁判过于教条化了。为何没有出现这样的情况呢？下面我们为大家细细分析。I think you should have told Mark the situation. Mark was misled slightly there. I think. Do you not agree, Clive? He was. How was he to know? 首先，在白球吊带的一瞬间，多特选择用手将球弹出去。在多特碰到球的那一刻，其实白球还未吊带。因此，裁判判罚的犯规其实是多特触球，而并非是白球吊带。Don't like it when players do that. To be honest, not meant to do that. Shall we fall? No. 关于触球犯规的情况，大家可以参考之前冯冯分享的奥沙利文与希金斯的名场面。胡老师因为那一次黑历史，曾一度背负了多年的骂名。既然裁判判罚的是速球，而不是白球吊带，那么塞尔比只是获得了击球权，而不是我们理所当然认为的手中球。既然不是手中球，那么自然是不能碰球的，否则就违反了足球的条例。经过冯冯这样一解释，想必大家就能清楚理解了。其实，之所以会造成这样的情况，主要有以下两点原因：一，球员以及球迷都犯了惯性思维的错误。当白球在吊带的一瞬间，大家都认为这是吊带犯规，主动将球弹出去。但其实球员在吊带前没有碰到球，按规则来说就是触球犯规。二，裁判的判罚不明朗。在洛克比赛中出现犯规，裁判通常会罚分以及罚分。第一，不明确指出具体条例。如果能够在球员犯规时，明确指出犯规条例。Yes. Yes. 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 Yes.
when you're seeing Marksfield, I mean, you've lifted the weight up. Because, the because the ball has left the bed of the table when he lifted it. Comfortable with this as someone that's completely neutral in this match, and I think that. Um, it's a bit unfortunate the way that was uh, conducted there, personally. The referee is technically correct, but a case for him to exercise his discretion. Uh, that's what I see it, completely close.